Otsanko Yakasai, a media aide to the governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduji, has been arrested by the Department of State Services Operatives, Sarah Reporters, as learned. Alhamdulillah, we just confirmed that Wisu is at DSS office. Abu Bakr, an official of the state government, tweeted on Saturday after people complained of his whereabouts. Saliyu had called on the president, Muhammadu Buhari led government to either deal with bandits in the country or resign. Tanko Yakasai spoke on Friday while reacting to the to students' abduction at government guest secondary school, Ganjebe, in Talata. Mafara local government area of Zamfara state. According to him, the fact that the development comes about a week after bandits also abducted some schoolboys in Kangara, Niger state, shows that the government has failed its primary responsibility. He said the All Progressive Congress led government had failed Nigerians, noting that it cannot continue to lament when tragedy occurs without taking any action to prevent a repeat. He wrote on Twitter, clearly, we as APC government at all levels have failed Nigerians in the number one duty we were elected to do, which to secure lives and properties. Not a single day goes by without some insecurity in this land. This is a shame. Deal with terrorists decisively or resign. Where each time another tragedy happens, we lament, con condemn, create a hashtag. The government pretends to do some do something no concrete steps to prevent reoccurrence and when we repeat when we repeat the process to what end where are those saddled with the responsibility just last week it was a hashtag free kangara boys today we have a new hashtag rescue jangebe guys who knows tomorrow what hashtag we will come up with perhaps one of our one for ourselves when we get caught up in one of these dark daring attacks this is sad and heartbreaking. <laughs> I feel helpless and hopeless. You see, I mean, why one a senator from a uh, Igbo, uh, what uh, in Abia, where is he coming from? Talking about uh, that the, the security should not be blamed blamed on a uh, Buari. The security should not be blamed on Buari. That uh, anybody who is blaming APC is enemy of the country. Which everybody knows. You know, it's it's hurting that people see the truth and begin to cover it up. It's part of them, whether it's playing games or not. This is uh, inconsequential. But what we know now, because of this now, they've uh, they've uh, they've arrested him. We learned that they've arrested him for saying that they have arrested him. <laughs> they've arrested him. That is that is the country we are. So they know what has, has been happening. Once you talk about what they are doing, they will go after you. They will definitely go after you how do we how do we continue in this kind of a environment that everybody should just keep quiet like that woman was saying no just be praising them mm -hmm. once you praise them you are free nothing is going to happen to you once you continue to praise them i think that this is not even the first time he, he has been saying that this is not the first time hmm. i'm sure he used to insult anybody that was against buari before now he should enjoy his stay the jari leave the man alone is only expressing his fundamental human rights buari government is tyrannical there is freedom of speech in our constitution let this government or this government stop oppressing and persecuting its innocent citizens and that was the reason why they removed a uh, she Usani because he was always speaking the truth he was always speaking the truth whether the, some people are using opportunity of uh, the kind of person Buari is or, or is Buari that is doing all of this in, himself of course he's aware of this whole thing so they are using that opportunity to clam down on anybody that uh, that speaks the truth from what this man has said has he not said the right thing is he saying something different that something different from what we are experiencing no he's not saying anything different these are the things people from the opposition party will be saying and they will tell you that say, oh they are they are politicizing everything but that is the truth once they say the truth, they will be telling you you are politicizing everything. They themselves, is it not because of politics they are there? Is it not politics that brought them to where they are? When they talk about politics, I don't understand. Somebody cannot just be saying something that is wrong. You say it is politics. Politics is all about what is happening. When it becomes lies, then you say it's propaganda. But if the truth is coming from those who are not part of you, you begin to say it is politics. It is politicized. It is politicized. Huh. What a country for speaking the truth against incompetence. 
united we stand divided we fall let's pray for a new nigeria to emerge soon because this one has failed already this government ate the truth when they are supposed to tackle pressing issues they are causing fear and intimidation may our enemies may your enemies waste may your nemesis waste no time to manifest Yes, I said it yesterday that he should be expecting his sacking letter from Ganduje this morning for criticizing Buhari. In Nigeria, I wonder why there is no freedom of speech. Was it not the same government calling for the resignation of the previous administration? Who arrested them? It is called freedom of speech. That is what they enjoy but refuse people to express themselves. I don't even know why this man should be arrested. His opinion regarding... Buhari administration, glaring failure in handling insecurity is well known to all Nigerians, even to the whole world, not only Nigerians. Let him be released unconditionally. This is the only time our security agencies can act swiftly because they are protecting an individual interest rather than national interest. That is good for the Northerners. Buhari government lack the capacity to handle the present insecurity in the country. So they see anyone that is criticizing his government as their enemies. And this woman has said this. One senator, Uwogu, he said anybody blaming Buhari or blaming APC for the insecurity that is going on in the country is the enemy of Nigeria. Hmm. So does it mean nobody can criticize Buhari? It's not easy criticizing or can say, can tell Buhari that what he's doing is not right, that he's not competent. No, nobody can say that. Is he God? What kind of system is this? Why has Buhari refused to change the same pattern in 1984 that made Babangida throw him out of office is what he's still clinging to after more than three decades. Using state apparatus to intimidate citizens is nothing but tyranny. No wonder he never condemned Museveni's re uh, reign of terror in Uganda. DSS arrests an innocent man for speaking the truth just because he's from the north. Why so supporting why so supporting bandits publicly on air is freely moving about? Of course, I had expected it to happen. Was even expecting Ganduje to be the first person to terminate his job for criticizing the Northern God. The Northern problems can't stop in the nearest future as a result of the foolish ethnic loyalty that their elites have casted the, that region with. Hence, they see an attack or criticism against the wrongdoing of their political leaders or elders as a haram. I am not surprised. I know they will go after him for saying the truth and this is one of the reasons why people from the north will not talk. They prefer to be silenced even when their lives are in danger because if you talk, you must pay a price. Be watching now. EFCC will soon look for even Kano State Governor because he said the truth about the Fulani Esme. If you want to stay long in your office then keep praising Fulani Esme. Keep praising them. So now they are even embarrassing themselves. They are disgracing themselves. They are they are exposing themselves the more. With this kind of attitude, these are the things we are talking about. They will tell you, oh, don't tag the ethnic group. Don't tag them. But even with the way Buari has been going about this thing, you will not think everybody, anybody that hears about a well meaning people who hear about a Fulani, even where they, even if the person is good, with this uh, precedent they are setting, it's going to create a lot of fears and doubts in the minds of people. And Buhari himself, all the things that some people had accused him of doing when he was the state uh, head of state, he, some people say he has changed, he has changed, but now he's still proving those people right. And he's even doing worse. Where is his wife today? If the country is, is, is cool, if the country is okay, where is his wife today? So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.